second baseman, number one. Into the windup and the pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. Guriel takes it in. Out. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting. Number 25. Into the box now. Number 25. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Here's the first pitch to him. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. And the pitch. And he one comes ball, back with strike. a pitch that misses here. One and one to the Minnesota third baseman. From the windup, the one one pitch. Zero. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. This is the time in the game you start thinking, hey, they might get better swings. Then you see a swing like that. Boy, he's still got it working. And this is fouled back and out of play. Another 1-2 delivery. Oh, Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage Ryan of the strength of his game, Dozier. which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Here's Brian Dozier now. As he'll take a look at ball, ball one. one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Two outs, two strikes, and we're in the fifth inning, and he's got one pitch, I think, away from getting through five shutout innings. It's pretty impressive right now. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Down go the Twins in order. They still trail one nothing. Digging in and looking for more, George Springer. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. George Springer. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more pitch-to-contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. And that's in there for his strike, one and one. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Ooh, good changeup, just missed inside. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Oh, and up. they set up away with the fastball, but it misses three and one. Well, he doesn't have any walks yet. He's going to have to come in the zone right here and really avoid throwing that first walk of the game. Zero. Gets him to swing and miss there. Three and two. Oh, I think his three eyes two. lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. Oh, he's clearly hitting off the fastball right there. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. And that'll bring up the former first-rounder, Alex Bregman. Hey. As he'll try and hold off the swing, but this one's in there for strike one. A hit and two tries for him so far. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. A wind-up and the 0-2 pitch. And the slider gets him swinging to God. 
pretty impressive back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the inning. What's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Astros. But they're up one to nothing. Riding in once again, Big Daddy. He'll start things out in the sixth Leading for a lineup three. that really hasn't Left found fielder. its groove in this Number one. Two. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Into the windup and the pitch. A oh, fastball man. that just misses inside. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. 1 0 count, here it is. Takes a knee-high fastball. The difference maker in this outing than others is the two-seamer. He's doing whatever he wants to do with that ball. It's moving all over the place. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Ready to deliver the one and two. And this is going to be a foul ball. Again, a one-two. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job of pounding him on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Once again, a 3 2. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. He's really struggled with his command in this game, no doubt about it. But to make things worse, he just lost one of the fastest guys in the ballpark. Ready once again, number 19, leadoff man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind strategy-wise here. Ball. There's a fastball to start ball him off, no but that misses for ball one. Now a snap throw to first, oh, he's and he's back easily. Hit hard on the ground towards second. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. Well, you're not always going to hit the good pitches. You hit the mistakes, and that one hung up there, now, a mistake. Nice piece eight. of hitting. the Astros are going to get a left-hander up and cranking out in the bullpen. In now, James, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. It was a walk in his last trip. The 0-1 pitch. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. In a double play situation, that's the location you want a guy to swing at. More than likely, he's going to beat it into the ground. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Another one two and this is swung on and missed and boy they took care of a key man there one away on the mound he's thinking grab some pine rook listen Number for 22. almost everyone the adjustment to hitting big league pitching is a big one some guys have success when they first get called up but as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out that's when the learning process really starts first pitch on its way 
But swing just got to try and straighten that one out. Here's the 0 1. Here's a little chopper up the middle. And they will Wait. not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. You want to talk about speed? Watch him here on this isolation replay. Is he flying or what? I love how smooth he runs, and he just burst it down the line. Into the box, big dog Decky. That's the first pitch to him. It's a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here comes the 1 0. That's wide 2 0. Putting himself in a pretty bad situation now on 2 0, and the base is loaded. He basically doesn't have much of an option but to challenge him right here. In the dirt, it's 3 0 now. He's gotten himself into a little bit of trouble out here. Middle of the order up in a run scoring situation. And now he might have to challenge him. Going to have to make some good pitches here. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. He's set. Here's the 3-1. Drilled to the right side. And he tries to get to the backhand, but it gets on by. One run is scored. And he will beat the throw to McCann safe at home play. Well, you scrap and you fight. You try to get back in it. You're down one in the middle innings, and you come up with a big two RBI base hit. Now let's see if they continue to add on and maybe pull away in this game. Now the Astros have somebody up in the bullpen as a right-hander has started to warm up out there. Stepping in now, Mays. And here's a ball hit in the air. Bregman camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. Now batting, number one. Ready for another chance. Small, and we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Oh, Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. The 1 0 delivery. And a fastball down low as that one just about got away from him. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. 3 and 0 now. Pauses. Here's the 3-0. Swing and a ball sliced, fouled into the seats down the left field line. Three and one. Here it is. Right over the middle, knee high. Full count with two outs now. So if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. He's set. Here's the three and two. Nope, and he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. Digging in to try it again. Number 25. One of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Hey, two walks in this inning already, so he can't expect to stay out there much longer if he puts somebody else on. We'll see if he can find it. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is, the pitch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Tell you what, that was a nice swing after the sequence. Falling a fastball to get a changeup and you foul it off. Pretty good approach. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Boy, talk about being on cruise control through five innings and all of a sudden the sixth inning, things are starting to fall apart. He needs to refocus again. 2-1, here it is. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. 
And this is fouled back and out of play. Bases are loaded here, two down. Just hung in there on that one. Another 2-2 offering. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. All even at 2-2. Two and two. Here it is. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. And we'll see another pitch here as this ball's chopped foul at home plate. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. So they wind up with two in the inning, but it could have been a lot worse as they leave the bases loaded. Seventh inning coming up. The Twins are in front, two to one. Welcome back to Target Field here in Minneapolis. Twins on top in this one as we take a look now at our game summary through the first six innings of play. Here's Carlos Correa now. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Grounded weakly to the left. On to first, and a big out to start the seventh. One gone. First baseman, number 10, Julius. Digging in once again, Yulieski Gurriel. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Under it is the right fielder. Two down. Now batting, left fielder, Jake Marisnik. Here's Jake Marisnik. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Some movement now in the Minnesota bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. Into the windup and the pitch. Liner toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Oh, and the throw's wide as it gets by him at second. Well, that's a first pitch single. Maybe they got to get a little more aggressive. He's dominated them early in counts and throughout the whole game. Maybe they've changed their game plan. We'll see. Are they going to be aggressive or continue to be passive? Into the box now. Brian McCann. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. One and no oh pitch on the way. There's a bouncer foul to the left of the plate. One and one. He's set. Here comes the one one. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. Good time to call the change as he swings and misses for strike two. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. He's set. Here's the two two. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Ready with the two and two. Hard hit ball to second. Throw in time and the side is retired. One hit, one left. Seventh inning stretch up coming here in the Twin Cities. Minnesota leads this one two to one. Luke Gregerson gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Luke Gregerson. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Brian Dozier. He'll match up with a new pitcher to begin their half of the seventh. Eddie Rosario is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh.
And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. And he oh, lays off for ball one. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, two. especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. And this one's not one close. Out. It's in the dirt for ball one. And now pitch on the way. And he misses again, 2-0. Oh. From the windup, the 2-0 -oh pitch. Ah. A high fastball is in there. Seared down the first baseline. He dives, but he can't pull it in, and it's down the line into right. He's around first, heading for two. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. When you're leading by one run, you want to do everything you can to add to the lead. You give your bullpen a little breathing room. It makes a big difference, so double here goes a long way towards making that a real possibility. In now, number 19. And he puts it on the ground to second. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And the runner coming to score from second is now it's a three to one ball game. Well, that base hit right there gives him two run cushion. When you have a two run number cushion eight. late in the game, you got to feel pretty good about yourself. Into the box, James, as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. It looks like he just swung right over that sinker right there. What is so hard about a sinker, you have to almost go underneath it and scoop it. You got one of those swings that goes over the top, you're never going to hit him. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Classic slider down and away for the strikeout there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Stepping in now, number 22. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Come set and the 0-1. Line softly toward the hole, but an easy play over at third, and that'll be that. Twins get a run on two hits. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Twins three and the Astros one. Here's Carlos Beltran, one for two on his line so far Houston. in the game. The designated hitter. Carlos Big Beltran. dog, bulldog, and summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 61, Big dog, bulldog. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. 
runs two outside, balls. so it goes to 2-0 and oh now. Well, that pitch wasn't even close, and now that was an easy take. Now he's locked in. You're sitting there 2-0. Get real specific. Make him throw you your pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Chops it foul at home plate as the count moves to two and two now. Now the pitch. Good change up in the dirt. Strike three. Up with it. Decky. And he makes the throw to first. Beltran is retired and there's one away. Good job of getting him to chase the ball in the dirt right there. Hey, also credit the catcher for keeping it close and finishing it off with a good throw to first. That's harder than it looks, but big league catchers make it look easy sometimes. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. Check swing as he pops this one onto the right side. And this is taken in for the second out. Up next for the Astros. Here's George Springer. He's working on a one for three thus far. In tight at 93, ball one. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. Here it comes, 1-0. Oh. Out of play. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. A 1-1 one one count. Here's the pitch. The big curveball just misses, apparently. Ball two. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early, causing it to miss inside. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Well, this offense finds themselves struggling right now, and they're down a few runs. They've got to try to manufacture, get somebody on, maybe hit and run, and then you look for the big ball. Looks like right now, everybody's swinging for the downs. They've got to turn it around a little bit, play a little small ball, get it going. Eighth inning of this low-scoring affair. Three to one on score. And three. fastball, called strike three, and the side is retired. Astros go down one, two, three. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. Francisco Liriano is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Francisco Liriano. Stepping up to the plate, big dog Decky. He'll do battle with Francisco Liriano to get the inning underway. No, the fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Into his windup, here comes the one oh. Aye. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Look into McCann, the one one. And he misses two and one. And the pitch on two and one. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And that's going to land foul. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. And he got him. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys on this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. And this is fouled back and out of play. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Wow, that changeup is an absolute beaut. They call it the great equalizer for a reason. Oh, and a fastball man. just below the knees, ball one. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0-2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. 
but lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. He's got to hurry. Throw gets him. Two down. Now batting. Show track one. is going to give us a better look at that play. You usually don't see third baseman show off a lot of range, but he certainly did there. And to complete the play, uncorked a good hard throw across to first for the out. Nice play all around from the hot corner. Standing in now. Small. Towards second. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Twins are set down one, two, three, but they hang on to a three to one lead. Back now in the Twin Cities for what remains of this production of baseball on MLB Network. Leading off with the Astros. Bubba takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Twins, number 18, Bubba. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. Oh, much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. The one and one pitch. Takes a look at a slider that catches the inside corner. Now the one and two pitch. Swing and a liner. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. So it's a leadoff single that kicks off their half of the night. That line drive base hit, now it brings the tying run of the plate. You know, Matt, they was talking about a bloop and a blast. Maybe it is a rope and some hope. Let's we'll see how the ninth inning plays out. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores it. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The 0-1. Oh, and that there. one stayed up a little high. No doubt. Some saves come easier than others, and I know this all too well. They're really making wrapping this thing up a difficult pass. Tough slider over the inside corner for a strike. Now the one and two pitch. And he will take strike three called as those runners stay put at second and third. And there's one away now. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities. And when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. So striding in, Yulieski Gurriel, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. And this is Bob fouled off to the right and back into the seats. The 0-1. This is a foul ball. Now the 0-2 pitch. And this is swung on and missed, so they come right after him, and it remains second and third, but with two away now. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead in the count 0-2, and then start working outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. Ready for another shot now. Jake Marisnik. And their season hangs in the balance here as they're down to their final out. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound.
Here's the first pitch. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. The 0 1. And a fly ball. And this should do it. Number 19 is there. Makes the catch, and the ball game is over. Wow, talk about a do or die situation. Amazing. They find a way to win the wild card game and advance to the division series. I know the home crowd made a difference cheering them on, and now they have all the momentum going into the next round. This one, definitely a low-scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. a really solid starting pitching performance kept the opposition at bay and as a result he's our tops player of the game hey look at the numbers this is what you want from your starting pitcher he gave him seven strong innings and sets things up perfectly for the bullpen to seal the deal very good job out there So for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, this is Matt Vaskersian. We're just getting started, folks. You've been watching the American League wildcard game.